Lately, my name's Mikael. Um, I only started bodybuilding this year, oh. my last year, 2016. Wow. I won three shows back to back straight away. Um, I used to do powerlifting before. Um, I was breaking British records just in the gym normally. I lift quite a lot of weight. Um, I enjoy, yeah, I really enjoy it. I'm uh, very passionate about the sport. I have my own YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. And uh, I want to ask you how many meals do you eat? Um, when I'm getting prepared for competition, okay. maybe seven to eight meals a day. Okay, and what uh, the training is for? Um, it changes. I don't really actually stick to a changing split, but what I do is I go by feel and I look at my body and I think my arms look a bit weak, or I change a bit more arms, or my legs need to come up and I train a bit more legs. So, uh, you train uh, in, uh, two, two body parts in a day? Or, uh, no, 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 mostly one, okay. sometimes two, sometimes I have two gym sessions. Wow. But I think with the physique of okay. the body, it's all about proportions. Okay. So it's about being very critique, okay. uh, being criti critical of your own physique. Okay. So you look in the mirror and you say, my shoulders are small. Oh. So then you say, for instance, my back's big. So for the next six weeks, I'm going to do less back and more shoulders. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, so my normal training stick would probably be chest and biceps. Uh, back, and, back, back on its own, shoulders and triceps and legs. Well, sometimes when I need to tweak things, I do different. Uh, so you, uh, you, uh, you take uh, legs uh, last of the day uh, of the week. I always change my legs on uh, maybe a Saturday morning or something. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, uh, or last, um, or uh, well, the week starts. Ah, uh, yes, yes. On a Sunday uh, or Saturday. Or okay. So actually, okay. they come last for the first. If that makes sense. And each week, is, each week you change it. Each week you, you, you're going to gonna change. You're gonna change the split. No, keep the split exactly the same. Yeah, exactly for, the same. For, for, for a month or like For six that? weeks, and then when my body gets tired, okay. I do something that we call active rest. Okay. So I still lift a lot of weight. Wow. I mean, sorry, I still lift as often, okay. but I bring the weight down okay. and increase wow. the volume so my muscles can be cleared. And after six weeks of really hard training, you feel your body start to break down, your nervous system gets broken okay. down. Now let's talk about cardio. You yeah. do two times a day. I only do cardio when I'm preparing for a competition. Uh, you do two times a day, every, um, every day, or only uh, one time. So it depends, depends how your body feels. Uh, so my last three shows, your body fat. Yeah, it depends how where my body fat is. To be fair, like, well, I wouldn't advise no more than two hours cardio a day, really, because it's just too much. And your legs, because you're on your legs all the time, your legs will start to get really thin. I had a metal pole going to my leg. Do you see that? So I only had uh, six weeks to prepare for the show. So because it was such a short diet, I had to be keto for a week. But normally I would stay away from keto. And by the time? Keto is, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. High in fat. No, keto is basically better, no uh, yeah, 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 Low carbs and, and, uh, and low in all the protein. I don't think it's... Uh, 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 I think he's been at risk of losing a lot of muscle. So how do you scoreboard at the end of the day and how do you deplete your water during the show? Um, my water techniques are always the same. I do um, I see, oh, one more, one more, more thing. Uh, during the plating water, you eat food or you don't eat food? So I do my depletion water is yeah. always the same. Okay. So four days before the show. Okay. Four four days. Wait, three days before the show. That's, that's then the show on the fourth day I'll have from, man. I'll have like really say really, really really tough because I've tried it, I won second place in Portugal yeah. and my uh, local show. So I want to come for but I did uh, deplete two days. I didn't uh, know I when to I mean, deplete. Yeah. So, no, now basically, I got it right. So what? Four days. No, four days is my water load. So if I'm competing on, let's say Sunday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So on Thursday, I have 12 liters, or maybe nine liters. Friday, 10. Um, Saturday, 12, and then I cut my water for a couple of about seven liters. I can eat no water. The lips will be dry, right? Yeah, but I'm still, I still eat okay. because um, I've got enough water so in my body. You should allow to take sugar during that time. Uh, I don't take any sugar. Nothing. No, just uh, no, no, no. 
You don't need no fruits. No fruits. You don't want to get insulin spike in okay, yeah, insulin yeah, levels as low as possible. But still, we are very much dehydrated. We are low in energy, so how to say uh, it could be very your body, dangerous to go out. Your body had 30 liters of water in the last three days. It's okay. still flushing it out, you'll be fine. Um, if you do get really, really thirsty, it's just simple. You don't want okay. a lot of water in you. You want the skin to stay tight to the muscles. Um, and then I carry on putting my carbs in after the water. And the carbs, the water will pull the carbs into the muscle. Oh, wow. And then after the day of the show, I have a bit more carbs and sugar. No, 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 no. I no saw them load last time and I found okay. it worked better. And how much is uh, around your body weight? Two times the body weight. On my last saw them load. Okay. My whole last competition, oh. I tried pictures. Oh, yeah. I just did sure. an experiment all the way through. Okay. So I didn't actually do anything what I've ever done before. Okay. One second. This is my last competition. Wow! Yeah. Did you see that, man? Yeah. So that's freaking amazing, man. Yeah. So my last competition, man. I did a um, lot yeah, of freaking hard. I had a lot of crisp and stuff that day for the show, for the song content. It's a fine area. You have to carry it a few times, get to know your body, what works and what doesn't work. So I just tell you, do this, do this, do this, and you can do it, and it's work. It is the best way. It might work for him, or it might not work for him. Everybody's body is slightly different. I think the water load always stays the same. The cardio, not the same. Um, depending on how long you diet for and how high your body fat is when you start. Because I do like a two day carbo because I don't want to force it in one day, so I'll carbo for two days now. So at, at night you will eat uh, no carbs? So like before the show, after the completion, I'll have two days, maybe 800 carbs. No, clean food, same food, same food I've been eating for the whole day. Well, you should have cheat meals because it'll spike the insulin. Not because of that, because if you've been dying for three months and you haven't had something like a pizza, when you eat a pizza, you don't know how your body's going to react to it because you haven't had it. If you've been eating rice every day and you know how you look after eating rice, so it was carbo and exactly the same food you've been eating. So, uh, so uh, in nutrition, you keep a sketch, uh, space, uh, space of up so you don't cycle. But uh, you also uh, each I week don't, you decrease calories. I don't, I don't, I don't carb cycle. I decrease calories in my prep. Maybe not each week. Maybe every fortnight. But when I get to six weeks down, I take something out, something out. But sometimes I don't need to. My body's firing. That efficiently, my metabolism is so high, it knows I need to drop fat, so I don't need to actually change my calories. Um, what I will say is, I don't carb cycle. In the off season, I'm quite tall, I'm trying to move my legs up. So, post leg, pre leg day, so say the night before legs, I will have extra carbs and extra fats. And then after legs, post legs, I'll do the same thing. So, around training that muscle which is weak, it's had more fuel. That's a very much nice interview. Welcome. Thank you.